You're watching Let's Chat. The Creative Arts Guild will be showcasing an exceptional exhibit entitled Showcase for Black History Month, Destination and Points in Between. I'm so excited to be here today with my friend, curator, Robert T. Webb. He's going to tell us all about this exhibit. Thank you for coming on, Mr. Webb. What is this theme for this year's Black History Inspired Showcase? Well, thanks for the opportunity to talk about the exhibit. We're really excited about it. The, the theme explores the, the many ways in which these artists uh, traveled both, both literally and through their studies uh, to uh, attain their mature style. So you get a sense of the artist uh, going through a process of discovering their full talent, uh, learning about their ancestry, but, but also gaining uh, experience in Europe, in, in the, the academies of the day that really reinforced the, their natural talent. And uh, I think that people will really enjoy seeing how their work uh, evolves, especially for those artists where there are multiple pieces, sometimes over 60 years. Right, exactly. You are telling me there's pieces here from the 1920s all the way up to 2021. Who are some of the artists that will be showcased? So I'm, I'm thrilled that we have a piece by Laura Wheeler, Wheeler Waring. She was one of the most important artists of the Harlem Renaissance and uh, certainly one of the great women artists of the 20th century in America. Uh, we have a still life by her that we believe was done while she was teaching at the Cheney Institute uh, because it really showcases her skill in depicting metal, glass, porcelain, flowers. And so it would have been a great educational tool as well as just a really lovely still life that shows her command of light and shadow. Um, there's a, a wonderful floral still life by Doc Thrash, who was born in Georgia, but really made his career in Philadelphia. Uh, that's from around 1940, and I'm particularly proud that we are showcasing uh, a suite of four photographs by Dawood Bay, who's one of America's great photographers, and these were taken as a part of a 15-year project he did called Class Pictures, where he took images of students around the country and created sort of a group photo of America in, in that time frame. And uh, those, those haven't been exhibited since their debut in a New York gallery in 1998, so it's a pleasure to share them with the community. Your passion about this collection is palpable even through, you know, this call. And it's interesting to me that you have this collection. What piece would you say speaks I'm sure they're like your children, you can't pick a favorite. But is there a piece that speaks to you the deepest? Um, that It is a tough question because on different days, different pieces have different resonance, right? Based yes. on what you're feeling, what you're experiencing at that time. Yes. Um, I, I am particularly uh, fond of Sam Middleton. We have 10 pieces by, by Sam Middleton in the show, and it, it relates of his work from 1961 when he moved to the Netherlands through 1999. And the first piece, uh, the, an abstract collage from 1961, I personally find incredibly moving because you can see his love of music and you can also get a sense of how much freer and more exuberant his expression is as he's moved to a new country and is exploring those new ideas. It, it's, it's a wonderful piece and I hope everyone will enjoy that section of the exhibit. Well, the Creative Arts Guild always has so many interesting performances and classes. I'm always amazed at what you offer. And you, as a former board chair, have a lot to be proud of with what you've, what you've really created for a community, and even more so with the Black History Month exhibit. Could you please tell us how we can experience this? Sure. First of all, it, it, the, the Guild is open 10 until 7, uh, Mondays through Fridays. But if people would like to plan a, a visit on a weekend, they can call ahead and, and arrangements can be made. Um, the, the, the exhibit is free. It's, it's free. available. And, and there is an extensive uh, amount of uh, wall text. So the tours can be self-guided and people can get a real sense of the, the life stories of these people. Because as much as I love 
love the works of art. I really value and respect the men and women who created this work, and I want their stories to really resonate with the viewers. I love that, and it's very important work you're doing. So I uh, tell me about the website where we can learn more and maybe directions and all that. Sure. If, if people would like to visit creativeartsguild.org, they can see information about the exhibit. They can uh, see the hours as well as learn some, some additional information about some of the artists. And, and of course, we're incredibly grateful for our sponsor, Biltwell Bank, that has made this possible. That They're tremendous community uh, partners. Great. Well, th thank you so much for coming on, Robert. So nice to meet you and, and to, to feel the in infectious excitement you have about your exhibit that you're sharing so generously. Thank you for coming on. Thank you so much. So head on over to creativeartsguild.org to learn more about the Creative Arts Guild Black History Month Showcase displayed in February.